Hello, in today's video we will be talking about labels. Labels are controls that are located in your toolbox. So if we go back to our Hello World, World application, uh, we're going to look in the toolbox to find our label control. And note here that your uh, controls are um, uh, listed in alphabetical order. So if we go down right here, we can find labels. So we create a new label. Just in the label into our form. And um, like it is the case for buttons, we can change the name of the label. For this particular label, we will just choose prompt label. Labels are used messages. So if you have any prompt for the user or explain of what the button, for example, would do, what the form would do, any text uh, would go into the label. So for this specific label, what we will choose for text, for example, is something very simple that goes along with our uh, project or our Hello World application. So, for example, we can write something like, if you click the button below, you will see a message. And note that for labels, you can change the font. You can change the font size very similar to Microsoft World. You can choose italics and bold. Make the, the font size a little bit bigger. See now it didn't fit in our form. We can either make it larger or we can make then we can move our button. Okay, so this uh, label just provides some text or description that helps the user understand what we're trying to do here. So very similar um, to the button, if you click on the label, uh, if you double click on the label, you will see some code that is automatically generated. So this is a method um, that by visuals you can add in any text you would like to add. For this particular example, this is what we're going to do. We're going to create another label. right here and this label we'll call it the completed label for now we would like this label to be empty <laughs> so we can either leave the text right here like it is uh, shown over here or we can change it to be empty which will have an empty string and see here that our label is still on our, on the form but it does not have any text in it okay so if we go back to our code here, whenever the um, user clicks on the button, the display button, what we would like to do is to the display the hello world message. Um, after it, what we change completed label uh, to say success. So that would just uh, prompt the user or let the user know that whatever they did um, was correctly done. So and one way to do it is um, to name of the label. So this is the label we're trying to change the text to. And uh, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to, once we click on the button, the IntelliSense gives us, op gives us options. And these are all the properties that we can handle from the code right here. Here that we have a huge list that we can uh, use for now to do is uh, change 
if we click on T, we will go right to text. And um, so we select the text property. And uh, for text, what we would like to do is to add in some text to our label. For this specific label, we can um, write something like task completed successfully. This will do it. Whatever they have done has been done correctly. They don't need to do anything. We can try that. So great, so now we have our first label that is showing right here, it's telling the user what to do. Once the user clicks on the button, the message, hello world, we click on OK, and then we see our label that says task completed successfully. And we can go back and change the position of this label, we can change the font like we did for the first label, etc. Okay? Now, let's go back and make some more changes. Another property for the label is uh, the visible option. So when the, one thing we can do, if we go right here, we go back to our label, And see here how it was difficult for us to find the label? Because it did not have any text, it's very difficult to find it on the form. So what we would like to do is to keep some text in there, um, some just synthetic text, fake text for now. However, we do not want this label to be shown once we run the program. So let's see how this looks like for now. So now we have our first label, then we have our button, we have label one, but we don't want this text showing because it would be very confusing for the user. So let's go back and fix this. What we can do is label right here, and then we can change the visibility option or the, the visibility property. Here, we can make this label invisible by selecting false. Let's save. And let's try that. So now our label, our second label, the completed task label, is not showing on the screen, which is exactly what we want. Now let's test our code. The, the label is not showing still. Now what we want to do is not to have the label showing at first, but then once the message appears or the message box appears and says, hello world, we want to go back and see this label. We want to show this label after the message has been completed. So we want to uh, show the user that the task has been completed correctly. Now once we set this label visibility to false, we need to go back and set it to visible somehow. So we go back Back to our code. Right here. So whenever we set the text of the label, what we need to do here is also sh select the ability option for the label. So we select our label. This is the completed label. This is what the label that we're trying to uh, modify here. And for now, we're trying to uh, change the visibility property. So we're trying to find the visible property and see how it was set to false. Now we want to set it to true. And note here that our code is um, executed in sequence. So what happens is that whenever we click, whenever we click on the button, this method is executed. And the, whenever the method is executed, these statements are executed in sequence. So this first statement is executed first, then the second one, then the third one. So the message box will show first, then we set the text of the label, and then we show the label. We set the property um, the visibility property for the label to true, and that would make our um, label visible. Let's test our code now. Click here. Now we see our message box. The label is right there, and that is exactly what we wanted to do. Great. So in this video, we went over labels. So these are the descriptions we used uh, to show some messages for the users. Uh, and then use, you can change the font, the size, um, image, etc. And uh, again, like any other control, you can go ahead and experiment with all these properties and play with them and see how that would change the look and feel of your uh, control. And then 
right here in the background, uh, we have seen how to change these properties inside the code. So instead of going through the form and changing these properties, the, our label properties here through the form, we can change them within the code. And we can change the button as, as uh, for our application. Okay, so we change the text property and we also change the visibility property. The visibility property of um, to be to true um, after it has been pleaded. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Before I end this video today, I just would like to emphasize that what we did here is called assignments in C Sharp. So we are assigning a value to a property. So this is the value of the text property of the completed label. Okay, so we are setting or assigning this value to this property for this particular label. So this is what we call assignments in C Sharp and we will be using assignments a lot um, for our projects. Okay, so instead of using the form right here, what we can do is change or as used to our control property code. All right, so I hope uh, this has been helpful and see you in the next video.